Developers of the Yo Mobile, which has not been produced yet but has already become well known, reported that they almost reached the finish line and that the prototype is ready. The Yo Mobile has become known to the public thanks to rampant advertising and promises to use the most advanced technology in its design. One of the major features of the new car is the rotary vein engine used instead of the traditional internal combustion engine. This alone makes the Yo Mobile a true revolutionary vehicle. The idea of a rotary vein engine has been known since the mid 19th century. Such engine is designed as follows. Two rotors are coaxially arranged in the circular cylinder. A pair of blades is installed on each of them. There may be more blades, but it does not matter. As the rotors rotate in one direction, the blades vibrate relative to each other, creating closed volumes of alternating quantity within one cylinder. The motion of the blades relative to each other and relative to the motor housing is set by the synchronizer. That is, we have four cameras in one cylinder, with each act camera performing all of the four working clocks in a single revolution. The four-stroke cycle of the traditional internal combustion engine is carried out over two revolutions of the crankshaft. The rotary vane motor has a lot of advantages as compared to the traditional piston one, including compact size, smaller weight, simple design and much more. So what's the matter? For all these 180 years, dozens of engine designs have been offered, hundreds of patents have been issued, but so far no one has made a unit which would be reliable enough so that it could replace the traditional piston engine. The main reason is lack of a synchronizer for movement of rotor blades, a mechanism which would enable implementing all benefits of the rotary vane engine as compared to the internal combustion engine. Meanwhile, all hopes for mass production of this engine are melting every day. Creators of Yomobile already admit that the first production batches will be equipped with a standard internal combustion engine.